Hey guys, it's Melissa. So today I thought that I would do a changing video. I can't believe I'm about to do this, but we're gonna do it. So the first thing that come on in, but my roommate Nicole is shooting it for me, so thanks Nicole. Um, so first what I like to do is I like to lay out a towel. I'm weird, I like to do it on my bed. And I always line up everything that I have. So all my materials that I need, my wafer, my bag, my scissors, all that kind of stuff, it's all out for me so that I can see it and I know exactly what I'm doing because just in case my stoma is active, we want to work kind of quickly. I think right now it's kind of going to be active because I just had some Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> <laughs> so just be prepared and let you guys know. And this is a warning for anybody that doesn't know what this video is. I am going to be changing my stoma for you. And it gets a little bit gory if you're not into that kind of stuff and don't want to see it. So this is your warning now. <laughs> so what I like to do is I get in my bed. I always have a warm glass of water because that's what I'm going to be using to wipe around and clean my stoma. So I have to take off my belt. I highly recommend the belt. Um, I can get into that in a different video, but I, I usually wear a belt if I'm not wearing my ostomy underwear. So what I like to do first is I have my bag out, so it's definitely full. And something I didn't put in my last video about my favorite products, which I was so upset about because this is honestly one of my favorites, is these Arm & Hammer baby paper bags. And they smell incredible, so when you're changing, you don't smell anything. So what I do is I open it up and I put my pouch right in. So because I have an ileostomy, it's more liquidy. It just reserves everything so it's not all over me. Oh, another thing I like to do, which I totally forgot, is I like to tuck a towel into my pants so that it doesn't ruin everything. And then I have my towel here, as I told you guys. So I'm just going to tuck in my shirt. And what I'm going to do is... I don't use the adhesive remover because I was told that I shouldn't be because of my skin. So I'm just going to be pulling around my stoma, around the wafer, all around it for it to come off. And I have my bag ready, so it goes right in. So I take um, paper towel. I would recommend a really good paper towel, not the cheap kind, because you really want to make sure that your skin is. Um, healthy, but I wipe around it, I clean my stoma, and I'm just like dabbing, wiping, putting it in my bag, and I pre-cut these. I really think that it just like works so well when you're pre-cutting it, um, so you're not like wasting paper towels and all that kind of stuff. By the way, make sure you wash your hands before. I did that before. Um... Okay, so now what I'm doing is just cleaning around. They tell you do not use any type of soaps, but you want to clean the area around the stoma. Okay. It looks good. Make sure all of the stool's off just in case it leaked. How are you doing? Okay. Yeah. I know it's gross. No, I'm okay. You okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm just cleaning around. Next thing I want to do is I want to measure it, make sure that my stoma has not gotten smaller. Last time I was one inch, and I still seem to be one inch. Let's see the smaller one just in case. Oh wow. That might be good too. So seven eighths, yeah shrunk again. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to do is I have my Kavlon no sting barrier um, swab stick. So I have that ready. I'm going to first take my stoma powder and put the powder around my stoma. If it touches it, it's not a big deal. It's absolutely okay. So if you could see, it's not that much, just enough. And I'm going to take my barrier film and just around the stoma, I'm going to dab it. Okay, and then as I'm working my way around farther away from my stoma, I'm going... Oop. Okay. <laughs> I got 
have some powder in this one. <laughs> sure it's okay. So I'm going to start rubbing it in around to make sure that everything's really protected. Okay. Sometimes there's like these crusties, I just remove it. <laughs> now I'm going to pull this away. And I'm going to also just cover my stoma because just in case there's any leakages, I like to roll it up and then wrap it. This is what I was taught by my nurses. It just holds it together so if there's any stool coming out, it just goes right onto there. Yep, and there it goes. <laughs> so I'm going to take my Sarah ring and open it up. It's really good to like warm it up a little bit so that it really sticks. And... I'm going to just open it up so to where I believe it is. I usually am really good at this. I could just do it in the first try. And I'm going to put the ring around my stoma. Put this guy back on here. And get my scissors. So I'm going to cut around to where I measured. Some people like to take it and stencil it on but I have a really good eye for that stuff so normally what you can just do is stencil it around and people take a marker and do it like that but again I just I'm really good at eyeballing it and I measure it on it because you know that's what I like to do so again these are my favorite scissors they're the Hollister scissors that came with my sample kit they're great Okay, everything looks good. Just gonna make sure it looks okay. Just gonna do a little bit more. Just in case. And what I like about having the um, film around is that just in case it kind of, in case I make it too big, I won't get the leaks, the leak around because it's covered. So, you wanna feel that? And a good thing to do also is to push around the side, just making sure that everything is really sticking. And then knock it on. <laughs> Once everything's done, I like to just hold over on my stoma so that everything kind of just melts into each other and really settles on the skin. So I'm just going to sit here and do that. This is what everything looks like. And there it is. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I hope that this was a really helpful video. Comment and like down below. Let me know what you guys do. And again, I hope that this was really helpful. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.